yeah, when you look at it, Exeter is a good place to be. Champions, top of the league. It's not a bad place to come and, and ply your trade. What can the fans expect to see from you? I've seen your video. You're, you're quite quick on your feet. You know, you you know, attacking threat. You're quite dangerous. But look, by the looks of it, with the ball. What would you say? How would you describe yourself to to fans who are going to see you play? Well, I I think when I'm when I'm in the field, I think uh, I'm trying to look for spaces. And maybe uh, I'm not a big guy, so try to escape from the big ones, and of course try to try to run and do what I want, do what I can. And maybe uh, the things uh, look good for me. At the moment, it's a, a deal to keep you here to the end of the season. But but it, how does it work with the Super Rugby and, and playing in Argentina? Have you got the possibility of extending it you know, to to another season and, and staying for a full year? Yes, of course. I want I want uh, that, but it not depends on me. Okay. So it's on how you do between now and the end of the season. Could but the opportunity is there from your side, as in you're not contracted that you have to stay in Argentina and play. No, you're, no. you're free to go and play yeah. wherever. So. So really, you're looking to impress here for these few months and, and hopefully do enough to, to stay, stay in this country? Hopefully, yes. Okay. Um, what about the players here? How many of the guys here do you know from you know, playing against or playing with at any stage in your career? I think I didn't play against anyone, okay. uh, but I know a lot of guys that have seen one in the TV. And, well, they, they're great with me. They're selling me in. And, and of course, I'm very happy. Did you speak with um, Ignacio Mires or, or Gonzalo Camacho, who played here? Have you had any sort of conversation with those guys? Do you know them? I speak with Gonzalo. He he called me uh, yesterday or the other the other day, and uh, he speak uh, me very well of this of this uh, team, this place, this town. Is he told me he was he was great, great people, and I will be very happy here. He told me. Did he give you any secrets, any things about the coaches that you need to know? You know, ones to avoid, ones to... Uh, <laughs> no, no, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no secrets. Um, just a quick one more generally. In Argentina, obviously, very famous football background and heritage. Has, has it changed the view of rugby in the last 20 years with the success of the Argentine national side and with Super Rugby? Is, is rugby seen differently now than it was when you were a boy? I think, yeah, it's more popular now, but I think uh, it will never win uh, football there. <laughs> so, so for you, how did you, why did you play rugby and, and not football? Was it a school thing or did you used to play football when you were younger? I used to play football when I was young. Uh, I had rugby in uh, my school, so I learned it there. And uh, well, I, 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 I tried, I like it, I was quickly, I run. So it was easy for me when I was young and then I keep keep going, keep growing and here I am. You've got, I think it's 33 caps, haven't you now, for your, for your country. How important is it what you do here with getting more caps in? How, how does it sort of work with the, the Argentine selectors? Will they be watching you closely from, from afar? I really don't know. I think that uh, there's a, a law that now uh, Argentina players that are outside, they can't play for Pumas. It's, uh, it was a decision that I was uh, I have to take, but well, I think uh, I'm here, I'm learning, and that's what I came from. So from your point of view at the moment, you, you're kind of accepting that that's it for international rugby until they change the rules or you return to, to play back in, back in Argentina, is that how exactly. it is? Yeah. But uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to learn, to grow as a player here, to, to take as much as I can, and then maybe in the future I, I go back, I don't know. And, um, and just finally, on extra itself, have you had a chance to, to have a little look round at all yet, or is it quite early days? Not too much, but uh, I, I walk in a little bit, and it's very nice. And obviously, just one last one on the game, because you're here to play rugby, and we'll talk about, a bit about that. Not the easiest start against the Saracens team. I know they, they may have some of the fringe players, if you like, playing, but, but it's um, one of the best clubs we've got here. You know. How difficult is it for you to sort of get off the plane and get into a team and, and show what you can do? Very, very difficult, but uh, it's a, a nice challenge and let's see what I can do. Santiago, you said to me in the week you're very excited about the challenge. It's going to be your first uh, experience of playing English rugby. Uh, what are you looking forward to the most? Uh, in the field? Yeah. 
just show what I can do for the team, uh, help help them uh, as much as I can, and if it's possible to get as far as we can. You've had uh, your first week training with the boys. You you seem to have settled in really well, and uh, all's good. I was very lost of the, the first time, but now I'm I'm understand the, the game of what they're playing, and I'm I'm. I'm very happy. It, the, the guys always come come close to me and start speaking to me, uh, so I can understand it better. Better, and that's a, a good thing. As Andy said, you're coming to the champions, so you're coming to a very good club. Yeah, yeah, I'm very happy for that. Perfect. Thank you.